fucking God am I glad to be home. <sighs> I'm going to discuss something that people aren't going to like very much, but that's too bad. I preferred the way that I drove when I used to do weed. I don't really do weed anymore. It just makes me paranoid, and the only way that it wouldn't make me paranoid is if I was doing it all the time again, to where you know it's always continuing to be in my system. And I'm, I'm just not down with that. I don't want to be a constant pothead like I was before. So, you know, when I do it now, it's at least at least an hour and a half of paranoia, fear, uh, uh, panic attacks. You know, it's just not worth it. Yeah, two hours later, I might be kind of relaxed and I can be a little more creative than I normally am, but it, it's it's just not worth it. It's just not. But you know, now that I don't do weed, I. I drive very fast on the freeway. I usually will go 70, 75. The speed limit's 60. Um, I don't obsessively um, look around at every, I mean, constantly every little thing. Oh, look at, oh, look at this, look at this, look. I'm, I'm not, I don't do that. Um, quite frankly, I mean, when I drive on weed is like what most people are when, let's say referring to alcohol, what most people are when they're sober and when I'm not on weed, it's like what most people drive when they're a little drunk. You know, I just, I think I, I mean, I've not run into an actual problem, but I think I was a safer driver when I was on weed. I think I was a safer driver when I was high on weed. But that's not the main point of what I'm saying here. The biggest thing is when I was on weed, if there was a traffic jam, I would get a little bit worried or paranoid. And it, I would always remain alert. When there's a traffic jam now, I have to... I have to do everything within my power to not fall asleep at the wheel. That's why I try to avoid traffic jams as much as possible. I will, if, if I cannot get off the road soon enough, when there is a traffic jam, I can't find some other route, you know, some alternate route, I, I will fall asleep on the wheel. I am not willing to, to do that. You know, for me, traffic jams for me, when I'm when I, now that I don't do weed, traffic jams for me are dangerous for me to drive. It is dangerous for me to drive when there is a traffic jam. That's why I stress about this stuff. That's why it was such a big deal about, you know, not being able to find these alternate routes. And my sense of direction on roads that are not on a regular grid sucks. It sucks. Now, if I have been able to prepare ahead of time for a place, I can be at home, I can be looking at the looking at the map on a big screen, you know, well, you know, bigger than bigger than this little thing. Um and study it, you know, study it for a good 20, 30 minutes and just keep looking at it obsessing on it, uh, seeing how everything is laid out, memorizing the, and I will always look at the satellite view, memorizing the way that looks from that vantage point, then I can go there and be fine. But if I haven't had a chance to do that, I'm, I'm a fucking doofus. I, I just, I cannot get, if, if it's on a grid, no problem, no problem at all. If it looks like a, if the road layout looks like a plate of spaghetti, fuck no, I can't find my way around worth shit. <laughs> a place I would never, ever, ever drive. Even if I could, you know, if I somehow magically was just used to the idea of driving on the other side of the road, is London. I've looked at maps of London, I'm like, I've, 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 
I've probably put three hours, four hours of studying maps of London. Not that I'm going to go there anytime soon, but I still was just trying to figure it out. You know, hell no. Hell no. No way would I drive in London. No fucking way. London is like the very few roads that do actually continue and you don't have to make a turn constantly. Um, besides, you know, never really going in a straight line. You pass by this street, it changes names. You pass by this street, it changes names. You pass by that street, it changes names. And I'm just like, oh, hell no. Hell no. I would have to have one of these with a GPS. I, 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 or, or, you know, or a regular GPS. I would have to have one somewhere like London. There is no way I could get that. I would, I would probably have to live there for five years before I could get even the slight hang of of how to get around that place. Holy shit, I don't know how people could drive in London. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah. Anyway. Um... But this this whole thing about you know not wanting to be in the traffic jam. Hey, it's I, I'm not trying I'm not trying to cause an accident. I'm not trying to fall asleep on the road and hit the person in front of me, or suddenly veer off to the side a little bit as as the traffic is moving and, and you know be, being awoken by someone honking at me because I just ran into them or something. You know I I'm not down with that at all. No no. So. Uh, <laughs> That's why that was important to me. That's why I made a big deal about that stuff, you know? Now, yeah, I mean, when it's when I am disgruntled with the GPS continually trying to get me towards the freeway again, and I can't trust anything it says because it's going to, well, I, we're going to take you to a route to get you back to the freeway. No, no, we're not going to take you to a route that is next to the freeway. No, we're going to try to take you on the freeway. I just, <laughs> no. So anyway, just in case anyone was wondering why I made such a big deal, that's why. So, anyway. 